Gravitas, co-presented by Škoda. Kushak, choose what really matters. Are you part of WhatsApp family groups? Well, most of us are. What is the first message that you get on those groups? Let me guess. A good morning text. I know people mean well, but these messages have become the scourge of internet. Good morning with a blooming flower. Good morning with a smiling baby. Good morning with an inspirational quote. How many versions can Indians produce? Infinite, apparently. All these texts may seem fun and benign, but guess what? They're literally breaking the internet. If your phone is freezing a lot, or if your internet is taking forever to load, blame the good morning texts. They're clogging the internet. One in three Indian smartphone users runs out of space daily. One in three. In the US, that number is one in 10. Where is this data going? Forwarded messages, pictures, GIFs, videos. And I know what you're thinking. Surely the internet is not so easy to break. But let me remind you of the numbers. India has 390 million WhatsApp users, 390 million. Many of them are active in multiple groups. That's good morning squared millions. Do you see the problem now? India's forwarded messages are creating a traffic jam and the folks at Silicon Valley are clueless. Is there any reason for this obsession? Well, there is. And I'm afraid the culprits are older Indian citizens. They're new to WhatsApp. They're new to technology. This is their way of adapting to changing times, basically bring their normal life into WhatsApp. Just check your phones. Most of the forwarded messages will be from your older relatives. They have a set template, sunflowers, babies, beautiful landscapes. It's all very sweet. Unfortunately, it's also making your phone slow. In the last five years, there's been a tenfold rise in searches for good morning pictures. And in India, a ninefold increase in people downloading them. Where do you think these pictures end up? In our phones. We can do two things here. One, use technology to remove all this junk. I'm talking about applications that clear your phone space. Dozens of them are available on the app market. Option number two is understanding the problem. Why are so many older Indians addicted to WhatsApp forwards? Yes, it helps them adapt to so social media, but this seems like a never ending phenomenon. So here's a thought. Maybe they feel lonely. Maybe their children are in different cities. Maybe their health keeps them indoors. So social media becomes their life, their window to the world outside. They see something on the internet and they want to share. One message becomes a dozen forwards and a dozen forwards become a million texts. India's massive population makes the arithmetic worse. It's also a commentary on our times. People live secluded lives. There's no one to crack a joke with. So you forward it on WhatsApp. Plus, there is no one to teach older citizens how to use social media. We've seen teenagers help their grandparents. They download the app, they show them how to send messages, but they don't tell them what messages to send. We find a million forwards irritating. They don't. In fact, they look forward to it. This is the main cause of India's forwards pandemic. But it's not the only one. There are some loose cannons on social media, both old and young. They share fake news, propaganda videos, sometimes even hateful content. Their agenda is quite clear, stirring trouble. And it's up to social media companies to take action. There's very little that society can do here. But let me end on a lighter note. You have sinister hackers trying to slow down the internet. You have Russians and North Koreans sending cyber bombs, all complicated stuff. And then you have Indians pausing the internet with a simple good morning. Beat that. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move. Gravitas, co-presented by Škoda. Kushak, choose what really matters.